My dear children, uh, this is the third video for grade 11 students based on unit 6 biological processes in life. The previous uh, lesson you learned the digestive system, the structure and function of the digestive system and the process of digestion. In this video, I thought of uh, discussing about the diseases and disorders associated with the digestive system. There are a number of diseases and disorders associated with the digestive system. If we focus only about four diseases commonly reported. As you see on the screen, gastritis, constipation, typhoid, and diarrhea. Uh, Gastritis is a very common disease even among uh, children and it is very important to know about this uh, disease condition. What is gastritis? Inflammation of inner lining of mucosa is known as gastritis. The inner lining of mucosa, the inner lining of digestive tract starting from the uh, esophagus and stomach the wall is getting inflamed this condition is known as gastritis it's a common disease among many people and the uh, normal people say that this condition has the acidity the commonly reported symptoms are regurgitation of acid to the mouth you feel the acidity in mouth time to time because of the regurgitation. Burning of or oh, the burning sensation or burning feeling of the stomach and pain in the stomach. Sometimes you feel that pain in the chest area when you the when the disease condition get to a severe stage. What are the reasons for this disorder? Keeping off meals. That's why the most of the school students are suffering from this condition. Skipping off meals. You know, uh, some students don't take the breakfast and come to the school and they stay long hours to get the breakfast. And some people who work in various institutions and working places keep their meals. That is one of the major reasons for gastritis. And consumption of Acidic and spicy food, too salty, too spicy food. It's another reason for gastritis. And excessive smoking and alcohol consumption. It is especially in adults. And uh, working force. Excessive smoking and alcohol consumption. And mental stress. When a person is suffering from mental stress for a long period of time, it causes this gastritis condition. Then you can think how to get rid of this condition. You should take your meal uh, on time and you should not consume too acidic and too spicy food and you should avoid smoking and alcohol consumption and you have to have a relaxed mind. This is how you can get rid of this condition gastritis. The second disease is constipation. Constipation means difficulty in defecation due to hardening of fecal matter is known as constipation. You feel it is difficult for you to pass the feces because of hardening. This occurs as the feces remain in the large intestine for a longer time period and absorption of water takes place excessively. You know, in the large intestine what happens is no digestion, the water is absorbed. If the food matter retain in the large intestine for a long period of time, most of the water in the undigested food is absorbed. Then the feces became so hard. Then it is difficult for you to pass the feces. What are the reasons for the constipation condition? 
consumption of food with low dietary fibers you know there are some kinds of food contain dietary fibers uh, cellulose if you don't take sufficient amount of dietary fibers containing food you may get into this condition and not taking required volume of water it is mandatory it is compulsory to take uh, sufficient amount of water to avoid the constipation and postponing of defecation when you are getting into a new place or a uh, one of the relatives house you know uh, though you feel that you want to pass the feces you postpone it due to shy or some other reasons and it is very bad you have to pass the feces uh, when required and postponing of defecation is uh, one reason for constipation The third disease, the typhoid, a typhoid fever. It is caused by a bacteria. The bacteria or this pathogen transmitted specially through food and sometimes with water, mainly through food. During this epidemic uh, spreads, the health authorities announces and educate the people not to take the food in open places so that not to take the food sold in open places and your school canteen like because this pathogen get into your body through food through your mouth and sometimes uh, through water when bathing or swimming in swimming pools what are the symptoms of this typhoid pain in arms and legs headache, fever, they are the main symptoms of disease. And doctors uh, identify by observing your tongue even. You are getting a plague over the tongue. And stomach ache and diarrhea may occur uh, as some other symptoms. This disease can be identified by a stool test or blood test and it can be uh, treated by giving antibiotics the fourth and the last disease that we are going to discuss is diarrhea The diarrhea occurs when the intestines are infected by a bacterium or virus or any other kind of parasite. The uh, inner wall of the intestine is infected by these microorganisms or parasites. The main symptom of this disease is passing the fecal matter in liquid form watery fecal matter and the disease causing agent or the pathogen transmitted by the feces of an infected person when the feces is mixed with the water or some other food stuff through the flies or other insects or the organisms you may get the disease causative agent in your body When we consider the typhoid and diarrhea like diseases, they can be prevented by following the preventive measures uh, as you see on the screen. Consumption of boiled water during this epidemic uh, disease spreads or even as a practice, it is good to consume boiled water with the pathogens in water is destroyed. Removing fly breeding places and uh, covering the food to prevent entering of flies to food. Avoid consumption of food which are sold in open places and using of water sealed latrines. Washing hands well with soap, 
or any sanitizer and uh, clean in the toilets well get vaccine for typhoid you know typhoid can be prevented by even giving vaccines so dear children we have come to the end of lesson regarding the digestion system and the digestion of food and the diseases associated with digestion system it is very important to refer to the past papers and try to answer the questions based on past papers and the questions given in your textbook goodbye children